Time to take a look at default routes and host routes in IP version 6. And uh, I've taken everything off from previous videos, including the statement, the, def the static route, using the link local address from the last video, ran show IPv6 route static, just to be sure we didn't miss anything. And we have another clean slate. Let's go ahead and write a default route. And not much to this at all. Actually, we didn't even need that because we've been using a prefix there in the middle, but now we're going to use the two extremes, a 0 and a 128. The 0 is going to be used for the default route, the 128 for the host route. And here's what we put for the destination network. That's it, IPv6 route, double colon. It's 128 zeros represented by two colons. It's the best zero compression you can get. It's the most zeros you can compress, actually. So your default route is simply IPv6 route, double colon, slash zero, and then you're gonna put either, sorry, here's that phrase again, local exit interface or the IPv6 address next hop. And here on router two, since this is the only interface we're using, we'll use fast ethernet zero slash zero. I think we have some options after that, but none we're gonna use. And that's it. Let's have our look at show IP route v6 route static. There's our static default route. That's exactly what it looks like. And now we just need to make sure we can ping our friend router 4. And there we go, went right through. So that's a static default route in IP version 6, nothing to it. Double colon slash zero. Now, a host route, we're going to use a 128-bit mask for that one because just as in version 4, uh, version 6 host route is a route for one destination and one only. And we've seen some of these. Uh, we saw those local routes in an earlier video after we enabled IP version 6 on an interface. It put a connected entry in and a local entry in. The local entry was pointing to the IP version 6 address we actually put on the interface. This is going to be a more traditional uh, host route where we are pointing toward a remote destination. So first off, let's go ahead and take that default static route off, bring it up in the up arrow, do a control A to go to the front of the line, type in no and you are done. And because I'm just that way, you know I got to verify it. Show IP v v6 route static shows nothing. Let's go ahead and get the host route to that one IP address over on router 4 and get that in place. It's going to be IPv6 route. It's going to be a little longer this time. This time we're putting the 4 in there because that's the host portion of the address. We weren't doing that before with our static routes. So I'm going to put 128-bit mask there. So it's going to match that one and only that one. And we're used to this by now. You're either going to put the you-know-what, the local router exit interface, or the next top address, and we'll just go ahead and put the interface here as well. And that is a host route in version 6. And let's go ahead and ping that one host and make sure it works. There you go, nothing to it. So good things to watch out for your on your exam. You know, if you see a slash zero, especially, you know, double colons with a slash zero, you know, that's your default static route. And when you see a 128-bit mask, like the one we just put on that particular route, we know that's a host route, and it's going to match only that one particular destination, which is good because that's the one destination we wanted to reach. That is it for IP version 6 routing for right now. We've got some nuts and bolts on IPv6 coming up in the next couple videos, and then we're on to another subject. See you there.